Yes, you heard it correctly. I made seven different dungeons using only three different tiles in Unity. But how is this possible? Don't my dungeons have more than three types of tiles? Well, the answer is rule tiles. And yes, I am only using three of them in my scene. But first, I'd like to shout out somebody who commented an idea that indirectly led to this. Earlier in the week, Semper Solus challenged me to add noise to my procedural levels. To be honest, adding this was extremely easy and made the levels look much better. So thank you Semper Solus for the quick and easy win, I think it added quite a few style points. And a quick reminder, I'm always looking for more suggestions, so keep them coming please. Messing around with the rule tiles got me thinking more and more about how far I could push them. I had the idea to make an entire dungeon using only one rule tile. I didn't know if this was possible, but I wanted to try it. To start, I drew a large square of rule tiles and started creating rules that would shape my dungeon. I started by defining the back wall and where the floor would go, and then I started to work on the ceiling tiles that surround the level. Once the room was looking pretty good as a square, I started to expand its shape using rectangular brushes. This would create problem areas in the rule tiles that I would then create new rules to fix. Continuing this method long enough added enough flexibility to my rule tiles that I was able to start drawing pretty complex dungeons with just one tile. Eureka! I had done it. But that was rather easy, and I, unfortunately, was unsatisfied. So I began to look deeper into the other features of tile maps and immediately spotted a new target. Rule override tiles. I can't lie. I thought after doing very little work to create a dungeon from one tile, the next thing I would work on would be much more difficult. It wasn't. Rule override tiles were even easier to implement than the rule tile counterparts. Literally all I had to do was click and drag and poof. With the help of some scripting black magic, I was now able to switch between two different dungeons that were based off the same single tile. Rule override tiles work a lot like socks for your rule tiles. They conform to the rules in the rule tiles, but just change the output sprite. Using this method, I was easily able to create seven different rule override tiles and thus seven different dungeons. I was done drawing the dungeons, but they were feeling pretty empty. So I then created accompanying rule tiles for the stairs and obstacles that would be placed in the dungeons. I found making the obstacles very interesting because they wouldn't look correct until placed into the specific shape that was prescribed to them. But voila, I had now made seven different dungeons with three different rule tiles. And a ton of override rule tiles. Now you might think this begs the question. Why am I adding yet another dungeon system to my game? Well, as a gamer I enjoy having different types of content in games, and I think the procedural dungeons will serve more as a place to explore, grind experience from bad guys, and collect materials, where these dungeons will serve more as player power checkpoints in the form of a three round boss rush. I'm thinking I will also put a chance for rare bosses to sometimes spawn at the end of these dungeons and also that the bosses at the end of the dungeons will sometimes drop their abilities, and it won't matter if they're rare or not. Some other things I added are stat scaling and stat requirements for abilities, as well as ability elements and weaknesses for monsters. The element is also reflected in the floating damage text in battle. And that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you liked it and uh, subscribe to my channel. I know it seems dumb, but seeing that number go up does get me super pumped to work on the game for y'all. And of course, I appreciate all the comments and suggestions. They keep me thinking in ways you wouldn't imagine, and also remind me what people really want from these types of games. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.